Hello everyone, my name is Angelo and I'm here with Lamia. Today we're going to talk about the two different types of pruning. So the first type of pruning is cosmetic pruning, where you're actually changing the shape of the plant in order to keep things tidy and keep your plants from growing out of control. The second type of pruning is functional pruning, where you're changing the shape of the plant to increase the yield and also increase the health of your plant. The most common reason to cosmetically prune your plants is because it's growing into your LED lights. And now you don't want this to happen because first you can damage your LED lights, and second you can burn the leaves of your plant as it's growing into the lights. Another reason to cosmetically prune your plants is to keep your plant from exiting from the garden. You want to keep it inside the footprint of your garden so that leaves stay off the floor. For functional pruning, your goal is to either increase plant production or maintain plant health. One very important pruning tip for basil is pruning it early on at the very top of the plant so that it grows out and not up into your lights. And how you want to do that is simply cutting the very topmost leaf set just like that. Another functional pruning technique requires you to think about your plant's resources. For example, in tomato plants, when your leaves start to die off in yellow, what that means is that it's allocating its resources towards the growing fruit. And now you just want to follow your plant's lead and help it out by cutting off the dying stems. Another way to think about this is with your fruit and your flowers. So the same thing as Lamia just said goes for those organs as well. If you see that your tomato fruit is not ripening, um, it might be because the resources are being allocated to the flowers. So as long as you have enough flowers, you can actually cut those off to send resources to the fruit. Lastly, and potentially the most important reason to prune your plants is because these dead and dying matter can fall into your holes in your trays and create mold and attract pests, which is something we do not want. So make sure to always check the bottom of your plants for any dying leaves and stems. So you may be thinking, all of these tips are great and they're just so wonderful, but how do you actually cut the plant in order to prune it correctly? Um, so what you want to do is locate the stem that you're about to cut. And as close as possible to the base of the stem, you wanna cut it right there so there's no extra stem left on that plant. In doing so, you'll ensure that there's no diseases or anything wrong with your plant after you prune it. And you wanna make sure that you're only pruning your plant like once or twice a week so that your plant has enough time to recover. And it's also very important to know that you should follow the 80-20 rule. What this means is that you're only gonna harvest 20% of your plant at a time. This will keep your plant healthy and happy and you will be healthy and happy once you eat that plant.